Also tonight, there is growing frustration for people in North Buffalo. They have a couple new neighbors who they say they want out immediately. Two registered sex offenders have moved into a home right here. This is on the corner of Kenmore and Rosemary Avenues, and I want to show you why this is an issue here tonight. So here is the home that we're speaking of on the corner of Kenmore and Rosemary Avenues. Just a couple blocks away, this is a Buffalo Public School, and right over here, this is a daycare, a child care area right there. Now, as ever, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan tells us tonight, there is now a call on the state to investigate why these sex offenders were moved so close to children. My jaw dropped. I mean, I have a 16-year-old daughter who walks to work and walks to school. I have a 10-year-old son who plays in this playground. Neighbors in North Buffalo horrified to learn that two level two sex offenders, Russell Benetham and James Loader, recently moved in down the street. They are living in a group home for the developmentally disabled at the corner of Kenmore and Rosemary Avenues. Just around the corner, a school and playground. With summer vacation here and the kids out there, I think it's going to be a kind of a different feel on our neighborhood now. Um, and certainly the parents will be Everyone will be keeping the eye on, on their eyes on the kids. I'm definitely worried my son won't even go to his neighbor's house right here without me watching him walk across the street. In this quiet neighborhood, people are upset they weren't warned about their new neighbors. Hopefully they can look into this because, again, if anything, why wasn't I notified? You know, I've got my wife, I've got my 11-year-old son across the street. Why didn't I get notified? Now, local politicians are calling for a state investigation to figure out why these two offenders were allowed in a group home and why they were placed so close to children. But they shouldn't be near schools. They shouldn't be near daycares. They shouldn't be near playgrounds. They shouldn't be in residential neighborhoods like this. For now, lawmakers aren't sure where these sex offenders or others like them should be living, but it's clear they want them gone. This, we're talking about violent sex offenders. I don't know where the best place to put them is. I can tell you there are places that are worse to put them than other places. And it certainly makes no sense to put them in close proximity to daycares, schools, and a brand new bike path. Here in New York, the State Division of Criminal Justice Services lets local police know when sex offenders have moved into an area. They tell us Buffalo police were notified twice, once in April and another time earlier this month, about these two offenders. It's, the state says it's then up to BPD to notify neighbors. We're still waiting to hear back to see if and when police did that. Josh Brazan, 7 Eyewitness News.